Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pontiac Shops. Uh, the, I am here with our 2005 Jeep Liberty CRD Limited Edition. And I've just completed removing our rear differential. Um, yes, it's about four hours of labor. Uh, but after that, uh, and me doing it all by myself, it is all apart. And as you can see here, this is the old diff. All these teeth right here, this diff basically nuked itself inside of the housing which caused the whole thing to be immobile it would not it just completely bind it was binding up the axles uh, i had to pull the axles out of their housings to huh, in order to uh, properly remove the diff and as you can see they are quite rusted up this is the Texas vehicle, so I honestly have no idea how it got like this, but these are the emergency brakes. So they'll be replaced. Um, anyway, our this old diff is, now that it's removed, this place is going off to Boise to be refitted at the four-wheel parts store with a locking diff in the rear and not in the front. Um, hopefully someday it'll have a front locking diff. Uh, it is going, it is getting replaced with a Locking diff, um, it's not the conventional locking diff where you switch it up inside the cabin. It is a automatic locking diff, which automatically senses when you're losing traction and it'll lock up the rears for you to give you more traction. Also, while we're out there, while it's out the shop, the whole front end will be re rebuilt and it should get a little bit of a lift uh, like this Liberty right here that we also have. Uh, it's got aftermarket parts in here just like that. Uh, this guy's been lifted as far as the independent suspension will allow. Uh, yep, it is quite cold, about 40, 30 degrees outside and I, I am very cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that will be it for the, today's video and I will continue to update you guys on the progress of the white Jeep Liberty. Y'all have a good one now.